What's up? Welcome to the latest Tackle Warehouse vlog. Take sure you at, at the new Tackle Warehouse location out in the warehouse. Got to excuse the noise a little bit. The guys are getting the shelves ready to go so we can move it in a few weeks. The first bait we have here is a new color from Lucky Craft. This is a Lucky Craft Skeet Magic color. It's a really cool looking color here. You can see it's got a nice big thick silver strip across the back here. It's all clear on the side. It's got kind of this nice uh, green flake going out through the whole bait. Then it also has a nice thick chartreuse line going across the belly. This bait is currently available in the BDS3, the one we have here. It's also available in the Pointer 100, the Sammy 100. We actually just sold out of the Stasi this morning, but those should be back in sometime next week. And will soon be available in the LV 500s, 100s, the other sizes in the Pointers, as well as the Pointer DDs, and also the bigger sizes in the Sammy baits as well. The next bait we have is also a new Lucky Craft color. It's a Lucky Craft Ghost Chartreuse Shad. Like the name implies, it's just a ghost version of the ever so popular Chartreuse Shad. This model here is a BDS3. It's also available in the LV100. Will soon be available in the 500 version. We also currently have the Pointer 100s and the Pointer 78s in stock. As well as the Stasi version 2s. Sammy 100s. 85s and 115s, as well as the Skeet MR and DR crankbaits. The next bait is also from Lucky Craft. It's a new Ghost Watermelon Craw color. Now this color is only available in the Marty Stone 1.2 BDS. It's got a nice real dark watermelon line across the back, kind of fades into a nice watermelon throughout the side here. It's got that real cool craw pattern on the side. And it's got this really neat kind of a blue iridescence uh, flake on the belly of the bait here. It kind of gives a, a pearlescence look to the entire belly of the bait. It also has these really cool little claws on the, on the bill there to give it a more realistic look. Like I said, this is only available in 1.2. Hopefully pretty soon it'll be coming out uh, with this color and some other baits. But this is a really cool kind of power finesse style uh, crankbait. The next bait we have is for Megabass. It's the Megabass X-Pod. This is a really cool topwater bait. At first glance it looks like a traditional just, you know, walking style bait. But this bait is a lot more than that. If you can see here on the, the front of the bait has this lip. And this lip is actually an adjustable. You can move the lip up and down. When the lip's up in the first position here, it actually works just like a regular walking bait. This has a nice real long glide to it. But if you go ahead and you move it down to the next position, position two, see the mouth opens up a little bit there. And you can still walk the bait fairly well, but it spits a little more water as you're walking it, kind of more like some other you know, pencil popper style baits. Then you put it in the third position, you open up here, you see it looks just like uh, the kind of the same kind of opening you see on most traditional poppers. And this bait works great. It worked as like a regular popper or a chuck style bait. But this bait actually, with the way the lip sits, you can actually still walk the bait. And if you wanted to, kind of stop it and, and throw a little bit of water. And then in the fourth position, it actually causes the bait to dive down a little bit and kind of, you can kind of chug it under the water and throws a lot of water over the back of the bait. And the same thing in the fifth position, it actually just allows the bait to get down a little bit deeper throw a little bit more water and cause a little more disturbance on top. And then when you move it down into the sixth position, it actually makes the bait more like, uh, like a swim bait. You can, just, it works best on a steady retrieve, just, or a steady to fast retrieve, just crank it back in, and it gives the bait a nice little tight uh, zigzag action that goes to the water, a little body roll. And that body roll actually causes the bait to kind of kick off every once in a while and then track back on. Looks really cool in the water. Then you can actually put it in what they call their secret position. It's just the, the last one, you put the bait, the bill all the way down and it gives the bait a little more action on top, causes a little more surface disturbance. Um, you can actually still kind of walk this bait a little bit when it's down this far. It makes it instead of more of a, a gliding walk, it's more of a side to side kind of walking action. But you can also use this bait on a straight retrieve and like a swim bait style once again, but it gives the bait a little more uh, action to the swim bait than, the, than in the fist position there. If you're looking for a real cool versatile bait, I definitely want to check this guy out. You can be fish as, like I said, Top, any kind of top water, you throw it on top as a, as a spook, or work it like a chug bait, or work it like a swim bait just under the surface. Also up new for Mega Bass is a new Mega Bass Yamamba Hog. Real cool looking bait here, this bait's actually made from a bios material. It's not plastic, it's actually had to be FDA approved I guess. It's actually a bio and photodegradable product, so it's really safe and good for the environment. Um, surprisingly I thought because of that it wouldn't be very durable plastic, but it's a very durable plastic, it has a lot of stretch to it. Um, it's going to you know, hold, stand the hook really well, it's not going to slide off the hook, it's going to last a long time. Um, it's actually made from two different types of bios material. It's made from a, a heavier, denser, dark material here on the bottom, and then a lighter color and also lighter in density on top here, so it actually allows the bait when you fish weightless. 
it'll actually kind of fall backward on its own. Or when you fish it on the bottom, it allows the bait to stand up real nice on top there. Now you also notice it has these really cool looking little feather claws on here. It gives the bait kind of nice real finesse style kind of claw action uh, as the bait falls. As many of you already know, we're also taking pre-orders on the new Spro uh, BBZ Shads, as well as their Spro Dean Rojas Pop and Frog. We're also start taking some pre-orders on new Strike King baits, including their, their new Wake Shad, their new Perfect Plastics, as well as their new line of Rage Tail baits. We're also taking some pre-orders on the new Two Tungsten Swim baits and the new Two Tungsten Tungsten Weighted uh, Depth Shads. Now, a lot of guys are also excited. We're really taking some new pre-orders on the, or sorry, some pre-orders on the new E21 21 karat gold rods. Now, all these products are not in-stock products. We don't have them in yet. As soon as we get an accurate date up on the website or an accurate ETA, we'll, we'll post one. But please remember, these are estimated dates. They're not exact, so please don't hold them to us. But as soon as we get them in, we'll probably get them shipped out to you and be one of the first ones to get some of the new products from MyCast. Thanks for checking out this week's vlog. Make sure to check back in two weeks for some more new products.